All right, guys, so before this video gets started, I just wanna let you know that the Grom giveaway is 100% active and it is in full force right now. You can get entered by exploring the first link in the description below that is my brand, Enthusiast. Passion is the priority and we empower the enthusiast by giving away awesome things like this. I picked this Grom up not too long ago from Blackman Cycle Center in Emmaus, Pennsylvania. Brand new, it's got like five miles on it right now and it could be yours. What's up guys? So I'm trying to whisper right now because my wife has no idea that this video is actually going to be a big prank. So I'm trying to talk really quietly because she's upstairs right now basically getting ready to go out to the gym. But she pranks me all of the time. She always gets me with these little things that catch me completely off guard and throw me off. So what I decided to do was get her back in a really, really big way. I've been thinking of the right thing to do for the longest time and I think that I finally figured it out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to Lime Ridge Automotive today. We're gonna pick up a truck, we're gonna bring it home and we're gonna surprise her as if it was a brand new vehicle for her. And then we're gonna drop the hammer and say it was a huge prank. It's gonna be ridiculous. All right, so, so I'm trying to make sure, oh shit, she's calling me right now. Let me hide the camera. I think I'm just gonna hang out and watch her car. I don't really feel like going to the gym. Really? Yeah, I gotta cut the lawn too. Okay. Wait, um, you're gonna watch my car? Yeah, leave it here. Yeah, just take the Minimax today. Really? Yeah. For real? The Mrs. The Mrs. Max. Okay. I think you got some fuel, so you should be fine. Are you really gonna clean my car? Yeah, babe. It needs it. You look like you're so ready for the gym right now. I'm really ready. Um. Watch the lead foot because these are not cheap. I'll be here. I'll be here. Okay, have fun. Sweat, yeah. sweat for me. Yeah. All right. So the <laughs> so the countdown begins. We got to get over to LRA and grab a truck. Her car actually seriously does need to be washed. So we have about an hour's time to get over to LRA to pick a vehicle. I don't know which one we're gonna get yet to make sure that we forge documents so that way it seems like it's kind of a legitimate thing. Get it back here and then catch her reaction. Let's do it. So let me add just a little bit of context or color to why I'm doing this. So basically, my wife and I were always kind of practically joking around with one another. I'm a pretty serious person. She's more light and giggly and bubbly. So I think it's easy for her to use me as a target to catch me off guard. So my buddies over at Lime Ridge were great. I called them with this idea and they said, dude, come on over to the lot, grab anything that you want and do whatever you need with it. I'm gonna pick a truck out. I don't know what they have on the lot. So we're kind of just gonna fly at the seat of our shorts on this one. Babe, I'm sorry. I love you so much. I hope that you don't divorce me over this, but I think that you're really gonna appreciate appreciate the level of depth that this prank goes into. So the question is, what truck should we take? I think they just got this one and I haven't seen this. It's pretty cool. It's got the paint match recon tail lights. They look way better paint matched. I actually think that this has the same headlights as Denali, which was the one that we just reviewed, which it does, and the same fog lights. That's a pretty Pretty clean truck, set up nice. So that's one of our options. We're gonna leave her car tucked away there. We could take that black Cummins, long bed black Cummins. That's pretty sharp. I did wanna call out this dinosaur, guys. Look at this. Mint first gen. Wow. Awesome color combination too, retro. It's in great shape. And it's a five speed manual. Wow, this is awesome. I do not know if they're gonna be listing this one for sale. That is cool. That is really cool. You guys think a white Denali? We've got this red Denali, this maroon color. I like that color a lot. I think that I think that this is our truck. This is the one. It's talking to me. All right, so we're even going as far as basically preparing a list of documentation for her, saying to her, all you're gonna need to do is open this up and sign the papers to make it yours. You're gonna have to be my stand-up witness in court if I get divorced. Okay, yes. So, <laughs> we'll see how this works out. She just texted me that she's on her way back, so let's get back there and let's see how this plays out. Should be, uh, should be kind of interesting to see what happens from this point on in the vlog. <laughs>
so weird. I'm, I'm, I'm not. You are. No, I'm not. Why are you recording me? You're free what are you doing? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I just figured you'd be kind of thrown off by this Denali in our driveway. Yeah. Like, what? Whose is it? <laughs> what are you doing? You're freaking me out. <laughs> what is going on? Well, you know how, like, you've, like, always talked about how you, like, love Denali's? Yeah. Like, every single time we see a Denali, you remind me of how I should have gotten a Denali versus a Chevy? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know that I still have my Chevy and I have the Mini Max. Wait, where's my, where's my car? That is your new car. <laughs> what? Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> no. There you go. Are you, are you joking? No, babe, this is like not a drill. Oh, uh, did I pick the right color? I was kind of stressed out about it. Jack, are you, are you, is this a joke? Is it, this is a joke? Are you serious? Babe, why would I, why would I ever joke about something like this? You seriously bought me this car? Well, I figured, you know, the time kind of felt right and they had this one on the lot. It's only got 13,000 miles on it. It's a 2016. It's got the sunroof. It's got the rear sliding window. You never like really gave me exactly what it is that I was looking for. I feel like I'm gonna start crying. Is this a joke? Babe, I would never joke about something like this. This is mine. Do you love it? Are you serious? Yeah. Start it up. Jack. You wanted a diesel, right? Like you didn't want a gasser. Ew. I think that I've trained you right by this what time. A gasser. Sorry, every. Is this serious? <laughs> Little girl. <big> girl. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of crying. <laughs> I can't believe you popped this for me. <laughs> oh my god, I'm like shaking. This is the best day ever. Mm -hmm. Wait, my truck is cooler than yours. What? I'm sorry. Wait, for real? <laughs> Did I do a good job, like picking the one that you wanted? Yeah, it has a sunroof. And this is perfect for Otto and Ozzy. <laughs> do you want to take it out for a drive? Duh. All right, let's do it. Am I going to hit that over there? It is kind of tight with the Mini Max, but I think if you just pull over a little bit and go out, you'll be okay. This is like, just so nice. Sam's what did Sam out. say when you were like, oh, I'm going to buy a Denali? Was he like, ah! <laughs> Great idea! He was like, dude, it's about time. She's only been asking for one for since I met her. I really wanted to Bob Stanali. Uh, I, I, I don't, uh, I can't, uh, what? They still had it there, but I felt like you'd be a little bit uncomfortable driving it because it's so big. I cannot believe this is my car. <laughs> my dad is going to fill lip out when he finds out that he bought me this. I think part of him, like, wanted you to get into a Ford, you know? Oh my god, that would have been, like, the best day of his life. But, no. <laughs> <laughs> Completely converted, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Loyal. <laughs> my god, I cannot... It feels like I'm not even really driving a truck. It's, like, really quiet in here. It is. Compared to yours. I cannot believe you got this for me. I'm, like, so excited. I honestly can't believe it either. Like, it's kind of too hard to believe. Best husband ever. When I told you I wanted to diesel, I was like thinking more of like a, like a Touareg TDI. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you're telling me that I blew it out of proportion a little bit? This is like next level. I d like didn't ever think I would actually get a car like this. So I like started like on a lower scale. <laughs> well, are you going to be able to like go back to driving the Mini Max and enjoy the Mini Max? No. Really? Just like that? You're you're leaving the Minimax and all those great memories? In the, in the dust? Yeah. Wow. Sorry, Minimax. We got new Mrs. Max. Just when you thought that they were loyal. I still it's I still kind of like it. It's fine, but it's not like this. <laughs> My 
shirt should say Wafy Dog Mom uh, Truck Owner Boss. Wifey oh. Dog Mom Diesel Owner Boss. Wifey Dog Mom Lifted Truck Owner Boss. <laughs> so I was like telling everybody earlier about how you like played this ridiculous prank on me. Which one? With the spider? Uh, yeah. And <laughs> I was like in a terrible mood when I got home from work and you like really... <laughs> <laughs> you like really put some fuel on the fire with that one. I'm like the master. It's like the side that nobody knows. <laughs> and I like have yet to get you back with anything. But I'm working on it. You are? Yeah. Good luck. You're really not like good at stuff like that. I know. I know. I struggle there. It's not my strong suit. It's okay, babe. We're all good at some things. <laughs> like you're clearly good at buying diesel trucks. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this. Did you actually buy this for yourself? No. Well, I mean, it's like in my name. Well, technically, my name is also your name because we're married. Yeah. And you're basically stuck with me no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we get home, uh -huh. Sam gave me like all the documentation that you'll have to sign. Okay. So basically you just have to, because it's in both of our names. Okay. So I basically signed to have the truck and then you just have to sign we just have to get the paperwork back to him later in the week oh cool but can i drive it until then or no yeah it's yours all right babe so all the info is in the center console there's a folder in there if you want to grab that real quick i need like a little step ladder oh it has a warranty so this has a warranty nice Next one. all right here we'll go over to the grom well, you... lay giveaway grom first link below do you have a pen well, here, just open it up and let's see what we need. Eric, what is that? Just kidding. Gotcha. <laughs> How's it feel? What? <laughs> what? Are you Jack? I told you I was going to get your back. <laughs> you are <off. laughs> You're a sneaker. <laughs> You're sleeping on the sofa. I feel like when you get mad, you actually laugh. So I'm kind of, I'm really kind of worried about this actually. <laughs> this like isn't even cute. <laughs> this like is next level. <laughs> oh, I told you I'd get you back. <laughs> Do you know when I said you were world's greatest husband? <laughs> And you know how I said when you were married to me and you were stuck with me? That's why, babe. Because all those pranks that you used to do on me, I told you I would get you back. And I got you big time. You know what they say? Happy wife, happy life, and this is war. Well, how about we just consider it even? Even? I prick you with rubber spiders. And then I'm going to get real spiders and put them on you when you're sleeping. You wouldn't even be able to hold a real spider. I'll use a tong from the <laughs> Would you? <laughs> you gotta give me a little bit of credit. This was pretty good. I'm gonna give you some credit because I'm not, I'm not very, I have to be a good sport because when you. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a decent sport. Messed with me <laughs> so much. Over the course of the past year in our marriage, it's like, oh, when I married you, I, I learned this whole new side about you, and it was that you were a freaking prankster. <sighs> Fine, good job, I guess. It was like, you pulled it off. You're not going to divorce me? Because Sam said he would stand up for me in court if you would div divorce me and just say that was a joke. Okay, well, I can't really get mad at Sam. The non-funny, non-prankster, you pulled it over me. You did it! It's like I'm speaking your language. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 we have to actually bring this back and go get your other car before they close. Cheeseburger on you tonight, and I'll forgive you. Done deal. And french fries. Yeah.